Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the second instalment of my build of Dragon's M3 A1 half track in 135th scale. Um, in this episode we're going to be having a look at the uh, chassis and the engine. So if that's something you're interested in then feel free to uh, pull up a chair with a brew and let's go do some modeling. So first off on the lower chassis, uh, we put together the axles. Uh, no issues here, fitted in very nicely. Again, lots of seam lines, so a bit of cleaning up to do. And just be a little bit careful with the brake pads, make sure you get those put in correctly. Uh, the other hubs as well, no issues at all, beautifully detailed. And uh, the resin wheels fitted onto these, no issues whatsoever. Now, as far as the instructions go, we all know about Dragon instructions, uh, so there are some issues, so just be careful and just work your way through them. But we'll go into a bit more detail on that later on in the video. Now, here we have the actual uh, axle, put, uh, the axle, the chassis put together. Now, there are reports that some people have had bowed chassis. Uh, I'm fortunate enough I had no issues with this one at all. Um, as far as the uh, suspension leaves go, I decided not to redo those because I've got enough on my plate as it is. The exhaust, fantastic, nicely detailed. And these parts are for the uh, front cable reel. Again, needed a bit of filling here and there, which we'll see later. Uh, but the detail was nice. Now, as far as the rear springs go, uh, I fancy changing these out because this should be all hollow um and obviously it doesn't look so good uh with the kit part so it was a matter of getting the uh, drill out uh, with a bit sanding that all down as best as possible and then once the um the electric drill had uh, got most of the detail off it was then a matter of uh, going in uh, with the uh, craft knife scraping it all back and then sanding it all down uh, with the uh, sanding sticks. So once that was all done, uh, I decided to go for some uh, five mil uh, copper wire. Buy these all from good uh, jewelry shops, and then uh, just uh, wrapped it around some dowling, uh, the similar size that was required for the uh, rear springs. Just trying to keep those uh, gaps tight as possible. And then once you would uh, round it around enough, then it's just a matter of uh, using your snips there and cutting a piece to size that you require. And there we have it. And then uh, it's just a matter of slipping it on there, CA glue each end, and then once dry, just stretch it out so the space is all equal. As far as the engine goes, uh, light, nicely detailed again, but plenty of room for improvement. Uh, you have some PE fans uh, with the kit, and also I had it in the Voyager. Now, for the uh, initiated amongst you, you'll see that that fan is in the wrong place because that's where the Dragon instructions tell you to put it. Uh, fortunately, later in the build, I realized and the fan was moved up to the higher point. Uh, here we have uh, the radiator. Um, if you're doing the internal engine details, do not put this together like I did because there is an internal grill that you can use. Um, so I missed a trick on that one. So as far as the actual chassis goes itself, as you can see, a little bit of filling uh, was needed here and there. Um, I use two fillers when I'm building. Um, I use the uh, perfect plastic putty for the smaller gaps and for the larger ones, I use the humble filler. So just working our way around, uh, beautifully detailed. Uh, the fit, uh, no issues whatsoever. Um, you got all of the uh, shaft, prop shafts there. Uh, the central hub's nicely detailed again. You'll also see as I'm going around, there's quite a few sink marks. A little bit of filling had to be done here and there. Um, probably it's going to be covered, but uh, it's good practice just in case it can be seen. And there are those rear springs. And there's some of those uh, areas that needed to be filled. And again, nicely detailed underneath. And then moving along, 
Uh, you can see all the uh, photo etch work that we did earlier on bogies. That's come out really nice. Now this uh, coming up uh, to the front end, uh, nicely detailed, but this bar here, I don't know why, but it's too long. Uh, whether I fitted it incorrectly, I don't know. Uh, but I've put it in place and I've just snipped off the end uh, just to make it look correct. So there you have it. Nice uh, chassis to work from. Now, as far as the uh, exhaust pipe goes, I did the usual uh, Mr. Surfacer to give it a bit of a rough look, which will make painting and weathering easier later in the process. And there's the fan cover, and that's where the uh, photo etch would go if you need to. And at this stage, I still haven't realized that the fan's in the wrong place. But yes, that was changed later on. And there we have the uh, basis of the uh, engine, which we'll be doing some extra work to. Now, this is the Eduard set. And there's the uh, sheet itself. And we'll go into a bit more detail on that in a moment. Now, looking at the uh, Dragon Destructions, just to point out uh, a few things. Um, obviously, clearly marked, I'm doing the M3A1, but if you're doing the M3, then obviously make sure you're doing the right end. These little bits I haven't put on because they'll only get broken off uh, while I do all the other work, so I'll put that on later. This was a little bit of a bug of a piece to put on, um, so just be aware. Uh, as you can see, it fits on underneath, and then that will attach to the uh, upper cab later on, and there it's fitted in there. And uh, as you see from the instructions earlier, it does tell you to cut that little piece off, which you must do because it won't fit otherwise. So that's that part. Uh, the rear bogey uh, axle, that needed a bit of trimming, but uh, no issues there. And I'll be painting all the wheels off the model. And I think there's plenty of give there for me to be able to put those back in later. So next, what I'm going to be doing is doing some wiring. Um, I have got some reference, but by no means is it accurate what I'm doing. It's really there just to uh, put a bit of uh, detail. So for, to put the wiring on, just do a bit of pie tin foil, do some thin strips, and that will give you the connectors that you can add using CA glue. Uh, as far as the wires that I used, I used the Tamiya wire. Um, I used some 2 mil wire, and I used some 3 mil wire. The three mil here I used for the fuel tanks. Um, I just added that little plastic strip and junction box in the middle, as well as that little uh, filter there as well. As you can see, all the wires are, uh, are left long, um, and they'll fit that as and when. There was a few rivets and nuts left off, um, so I've added those on on the front, and also on the leaf springs as well. I just added a little bit of detailing there using the Meng nuts and rivet sets. So all in all, again, not too sure if it's 100% accurate, but it looks pretty good to me, and uh, hopefully you'll get to see uh, some more of that detailing once it's all painted up and finished from underneath. And obviously we did a few brake cables um, to the uh, front and back axles. So there's that. Uh, just a couple of photos there. Uh, of the top and of the underneath coming up now. And there we have some more detailed close-ups of where the wires have gone in. So the Edgeward set has been done on the uh, engine. Uh, um, it wasn't brilliant. Um, I must say, not overly impressed with my work um, however it has it has added some detail on um, and this sort of really is here for a reference for those following on one area they didn't have was the radiator pipe going across the top of the engine so I just made that using some um, welding wire uh, of different sizes for the Jubilee kips and that's fitted on quite nicely there and that will obviously attach to the radiator cover when that gets put in as well. There is also a filter on the other side, 
um, which I forgot, but I have since added. And as you can see, I've now moved the fan up as well. Now, the next stage of the uh, uh, Eduard set is to actually do some work on the inside of the cab. Um, you have to put this little section in. Um, and there's a series of little boxes and detailing that needs to go on. But first of all, you have to cut the cab size down to allow this little box to go on, as you can see. And then it's just a matter of building up the detailing uh, on the box using the parts from the Eduard set and a little bit of uh, doweling there as well. And uh, didn't come out too badly at all. Um, the back box of that area that I've just done, there was a little bit of uh, a gray area of what's supposed to be there. But after some research, I did find out that you need to put a panel on. I also did some little bit of wiring and a couple of little valves, as you can see here. And just to add some a little bit more detail and realism. And there's that uh, grill that I mentioned that was done just from some plastic card and the little bits of plastic card uh, strip. And that looked quite neat, actually, once that was put on. And we also have the bracket there for the filter for the engine. So there we have it. That That's all of it done. Um, personally, I am not happy with it. Um, you may like it. I personally don't. Uh, I didn't think my modeling skills were up to the job on this particular section, uh, but it is all there for reference for those following on. And I am sorry to say that it is all getting covered over. I won't be opening up the bonnet. So this will be the last that you will see of this. But uh, not to worry. Um, onwards and upwards with the build. Um, many thanks indeed for popping in and having a look at the latest update. And a massive thank you to all of my subscribers and your continued support of my work. Happy modeling, everyone.